Mountain huts are spread all across the Alps and are now part of its landscapes and traditions. Thousands of cozy buildings that offer food and accommodation in the most spectacular and remote places. Even if I rarely sleep in mountain huts, during the years I visited dozens of them, but one, the highest one, was still missing on the list. Capanna Margherita, 4,556 meters in the Monte Rosa range. And this is the story of how I reached it and spent the night there. Welcome to a new adventure. From Gressonei, we took the last cable car ride of the day to Punta Indre, and that's where we started to go up. We are starting our way up with a couloir. So the plan for today is that we don't have a plan, or <laughs> at least we have two options. So we're planning to either reach uh, Bivak, where the rocks are at 4,200 meters, Bivacco Giordani, spend the night there and then keep going tomorrow morning, or sleep at Cavana Margherita at 4,500 meters, the highest hut in Europe. It's not open yet, but the winter room should be open, is open. So that's our second option. It is pretty late. It's almost sunset time, but we'll see. And we are at 4,200 meters. My first time above 4,000 meters. Liskam is showing up. Paulino, come stai? Bene, la quota inizia a farsi sentire. Capanna Margherita. Up there. We're not far. As soon as it got dark, things changed pretty quickly. We were at 4,300 meters in the dark with no other choice but making it to the hut. Altitude started to hit. I was physically fine, I wasn't tired. But the mix of breath and energies almost disappeared in a matter of minutes. So I had to concentrate on the very important things I had to do in that moment. Stay focused and keep walking. So that's what I did. Twenty steps and a little break. Another twenty steps and another little break. Another twenty steps and I made it. Almost, almost, almost there. Capanna Margherita. We were tired, thirsty, It is extremely, extremely late. It's like 
3 a.m. in the morning. We didn't go to bed yet. Uh, but we arrived extremely late tonight. It was like midnight. We kind of knew it would have taken us a while, but we were not expecting to be so slow. But it is quite reasonable actually because we went straight up, no climatization. Uh, so yeah, it took us a while, but we just took our time uh, to get here safely. Uh, I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I had a little bit of headache, but overall, I'm I'm good. And behind me, there is an incredible landscape: the moon, low clouds, endless ridges. This mountain, Monte Rosa, is huge, and I can't wait to see this incredible landscape tomorrow morning with the morning light. So yeah. It's time to rest for a couple hours. Good night. This is a dream. Ragazzi, buonanotte. need to add anything. Incredible. An incredibly cold. My hands are freezing. After having a little rest and breakfast, it is time to leave this incredible place. I will be back. I have some interesting ideas in mind. So that's the end of this first adventure above 4,000 meters. Well, what a start. Exploring these vast mountains covered with snow and ice gave me so much inspiration for new projects. It felt like a new beginning, a whole new incredible world to discover with bigger challenges but also bigger rewards. It is the end of this video, but here starts a new chapter. Welcome. So just a few final notes about my trip to Capanna Margarita. We did it with skis. But you don't have to, most people do it walking, it's gonna be a lighter ascent, but also a longer descent. 
so it's up to you. And also it depends on the glacier condition, the snow condition, usually you can do it with skis early in the season and you do it only walking at the end of the season. Also this is not the most common way to get to Capanna Margarita. It is the common route but not the common way. What most people do is to reach the last cable car station at Punta Indren and then they hike to one of the two huts, Refugio Mantova or Capanna Nifetti at around 3600 meters and they sleep there, they get acclimatized a little bit and then early in the morning they leave and they go up to Capanna Margarita. This is definitely the best way to do it because you take it slowly, you can leave some of your stuff at the house, you're going up lighter, uh, but we wanted to spend the night there, enjoy sunrise from the top, so that's why we slept there. So if you want to enjoy sunrise from 4,500 meters, well, you have to sleep there, or at least try to. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. A lot of adventures are coming soon, so make sure you subscribe to the channel in case you haven't already, and I will see you in the next adventure.